What's up guys, my name is Dean aka The Blue Crusader and welcome back to the channel. In today's top 10 video we'll be taking a look into the top 10 Fallout 76 easter eggs and secrets that have been added into the game. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 10, Breaking Bad Barrels. This little secret is really unique and fun. Two players whilst playing the beta of Fallout 76, presumably during questing, found a van with a series of barrels and fallen characters around a pit. This looks like a possible link to Breaking Bad due to the amount of buried barrels which, in the show, are money barrels belonging to Walter. Check out this clip by XDIY Gravity. Number 9, the toilet button. I'm not sure if this is one that's spooky or just plain stupid. In this Easter egg, a group of players find an eerie place button in a toilet cubicle in the woods, and the strange thing is literally nothing happens when they press the button. Talk about pointless or what. I'm not sure if this is just a placeholder or a huge troll on Bethesda's behalf, but why would there be such a button in a toilet unless it's a secret passage? Check this out. I'm still going to activate it. How's it I've clicked it. I've clicked it. Nuke. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. You try it. You try it. The only logical explanation is that it's perhaps a trigger for an unknown mission. Number eight. The Deathclaw Traveling Merchant. This one is one of the most mind-boggling and unique ones on this list. It involves the player encountering an intelligent, self-aware deathclaw on the map, or traveling merchant as it's labelled. Now, it's not 100% certain if this is due to a bug in the beta or if it's definitely an easter egg, but Game Fighter Studios explains it perfectly in this clip. What I'm going to be showing y'all is some of the classic, old-school, obscure Fallout 2 lore all this stuff. I'm talking intelligent, sentient death claws. Me and my buddies, we were going through the woods, just exploring on the bottom right corner of the map. When we found this random encounter, we found two death claws attacking each other, and we just wanted them to kill each other, or have one of them kill the other one, and just kill the survivor. But when we went over to those bodies after we killed the winner, what we found was mind blowing, because I love that old school Fallout lore. We found the Traveling Merchant Deathclaw. Something super duper cool. It had nothing on its body. I'm sure if we saved it, we would have been able to trade with it and might have had some really good legendary loot. It seems like the Deathclaw could possibly be a tradable NPC that could potentially sell legendary loot, although Bethesda pretty much claimed there wouldn't be any friendly AI NPCs in the game, so in my opinion I think this could perhaps be a bug, but let me know in the comments what you guys watching think of this easter egg. Number 7, Alice in Wonderland. This easter egg is nothing short of epic, seriously, if you've ever seen Alice in Wonderland, whether it be the newer Johnny Depp rendition or the classic one of the past, you'll be well aware of the tea party scene with the Mad Hatter and Wonderland creatures. On the table there's a series of collectibles as well as even a hat nodding to the Mad Hatter that you can collect and keep for yourself. The location is towards the far western portion of the map as low cloud media shows in this clip. Now this is an easter egg referring to Alice uh, through the looking glass, it's uh, out of the series for the Alice in Wonderland series, this is the uh, tea table where you find like the Mad Hatter and all the other critters and stuff, I, I don't remember all the names but this is the one I can remember, but this is basically an easter egg to that, to that movie in general and when you walk up to it you can see it has a bunch of hats with some board games here. A um, bunch of good collectibles you can grab and possibly uh, sell if they're worth anything. The hats are just kind of a cool collector thing. Um, and everything does respawn uh, during server uh, server changes and everything. So you can find it right up here and I'll show you on the map. So it'll be right here as uh, where this cliff is at. It'll be right here close to the side there where the uh, farm is up right here. and. Right across the way is the uh, fairgrounds. Number 6, the T-60 Power Armor. 
This next one is useful for all of you looking for those coveted secret sets of power armor around the map. Well, you're in luck because with this location you can don yourself a set of the T60 classic power armor. In this clip by Wolf11 he shows exactly the secret to finding this set of gear. Power armor is extremely useful in Fallout because it grants so many boosts in stats and buffs that you wouldn't have without it and it makes you a lot tougher against your opponents. Check out this clip. Apparently not everyone found this set at the exact location which gives a clue that it could perhaps be based on random spawning or maybe for each player the spawn point could slightly vary. But more than not, people who tried this method found this set of armour for themselves, so definitely check out this hotspot in the beta or when Fallout 76 does drop. Number 5 The Toy Story Bear this next easter egg is really relatable if you've seen Toy Story 3, I mean who hasn't at this point? This easter egg was found by Grand Rex on YouTube and it's a bear hanging onto the back of a car, check this out. It's pretty easy to get confused with what this is at first and I'm not entirely sure yet if Bethesda intended to do this but it really does look like the purple bear from Toy Story 3 during the scene on the back of the car, see the resemblance? Number 4 The Catapult this next easter egg is really interesting to say the least. There's actually a catapult hidden somewhere on the map that allows you to fling almost anything off into the distance. Just check out this clip by Michael Durst on YouTube, where they launch a skeleton sky high with this thing. So everybody can see how far it launches? Maybe Probably. Not. Maybe it's too long. Woo! Look at that thing go! <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Allegedly this thing is located somewhere near a house in the southeastern portion of the map and involves detonating a plunger to launch the catapult. This thing has a crazy potential for funny clips. Number 3, the Pied Piper of the Wasteland. This next clip is super cool. I'm not sure if this is an official easter egg of sorts or the result of some kind of meddling with the game by the player, but I had to add this to the list because it's super unique and is a funny clip. A YouTuber called Trizik posted a clip called the Pied Piper in which there's a flying robot that's leading away a group of rad rats across a bridge as if it was the Pied Piper leading away rats like in the original story. What's even better is that if you listen closely it seems to be playing sounds or music in a similar fashion. I don't know whether to be creeped out or laugh, just check this out. Number 2, Halloween House. This one is super awesome, it seems like perhaps due to beta release centering on the date of Halloween, Bethesda sneaked in a nice surprise with a house fully decorated in pumpkins. What's better is not only is the house surrounded by pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns, even the personal butler robot is actually called Jack-o'-lantern and is plated in orange metal and has his own witch hat on. This is absolutely awesome, check out this clip by the homeless monkey on YouTube. Manners. Welcome to the Pumpkin House, one of the most popular attractions in Appalachia. I'm Jack, the caretaker here. To the point, visitors demand perfectly carved pumpkins for the fall festival, but they simply won't stop rotting away. Uh, that's where you come in. Kindly fetch me some pumpkins to carve, will you? You will be adequately compensated. 
I'm interested to see if Bethesda will remove this when the full game comes out, or if it was only an easter egg to say Happy Halloween. Nonetheless, it was a cool little addition, and what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 1, Fallout 76 reference, Fallout 4. This one isn't actually in Fallout 76 itself, but it's interesting because when watching a TV screen within Fallout 4, Fallout 76 is actually mentioned as a vault that has been recently opened during the present timeline of Fallout 4. This is super interesting, mainly due to the fact that it tells us that Bethesda most likely were developing the game at a similar time, or at least had already made preliminary plans to make the game, which is why they made this reference in Fallout 4 itself. Just check out this clip. Voltec announced a continuation of their popular Welcome Home promotion. They report openings are still available in Area Vaults 81, 111, and 114. Since debuting Vault 76 last year, in honor of America's tercentenary, Voltec continues to expand with plans for well over 100 vaults around the country. And now our exclusive coverage of the continuing volatile situation with Communist China. That one was super cool. Let me know which of these easter eggs was your favourite on this list and let me know if you found any of these yourself whilst playing. Before you click off this video I just want to tell you about a giveaway what we're going to be doing on the channel. So. With the success of the last giveaway last month during the month of October, we've decided to actually bring back another giveaway to the channel. Now it's a whole new thing where we do monthly giveaways and usually we don't feature them at the end of top 10 videos but this is super important. So if you enjoyed this video, like I said before, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and also leave below any ideas that you want us to do in a top 10 video. Another thing what you need to do is if you wish to enter the giveaway, you need to be subscribed to the channel with notifications on so make sure you click the notification bell make sure you like the video and click subscribe also feel free to comment your opinion below or if any facts were wrong in this video it really helps to improve in the future another thing is on the giveaways if you do want to partake in them not only do you have to be subscribed like the video and obviously you can leave your opinions below or comments but it's not too necessary as well as that you need to comment below TBC now each giveaway every single month is different recently we did a Fortnite giveaway this month is actually going to be a Steam games giveaway so if anybody wishes to get some free games then do definitely do the steps which I mentioned before subscribe to the channel like the video and leave your opinions below or ideas for future top 10 videos. We do crazy videos on this channel every single day so we do gaming videos, top 10 videos and a lot more so you'll also be in the chance for some crazy giveaways every single month and each of the winners are drawn on a live stream so all these giveaways are fair and there's proof given at the end so thanks for watching I'll see you next time. You better